Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to be finally saving Kid. Uh, we got that Hydra humor for her. So we can finally get her back in the party and get rid of Korcha already. I'm not going to lie, Korcha has impressed me a little bit. Uh, his attack was quite good, so it made it easier to do all, all the boss battles. But I, I'm still not taking... The fact that I still don't like Korchuk, so I'm gonna be happy to see Kid back in the party here soon. And then I don't know, I honestly haven't thought about what characters I'm gonna be using end game. Because if you guys don't know, this game does let you like you collect like 15 to 20 characters over the entire game, so there are multi like many characters you can choose from. Uh, obviously I'm going to be keeping Surge. I, m I most likely will be keeping Kid. I usually don't keep Kid, but for specifically for this run, I want a Kid run. So I want Kid to be with us. So basically I just have to decide my third character, but there's a lot of good third characters. So I don't know which one I'm going to choose. So yeah, I don't know. Well... For now, let's return to Goldove and get Kid back. That's the most important thing on the list at the moment. And yeah, right now, we can't control the boat. So, like, I'm not actually doing anything. But once we get further into the game, we'll actually get our own boat and we'll be able to sail anywhere we want. So those islands, uh, for now let's just put Razzy, Razzly, I forgot her name. But for now, yeah, we can't move, but we will soon enough get a ship. Let's rush over to the doctor. I agree. Let us rush over to the doctor. Let us get Kid back. What up, Doc? Oh, it's you, dudes. The patient's strength is at its limit without the antidote. Yo, what's up, fam? I got you the antidote. Oh, wait. I gotta I gotta use that as an item, don't I? So I gotta press this. Hydra humor. Bam. Activated. Can this be Hydra humor? But how? We will discuss that later. As long as we have this, making an antidote will be... Easier than catching a wave. We can save the girl with this. We will prepare an antidote right away, nurse. Help me with the preparation stat. Yes, let's do this. I have no idea where in the world you found this, nor do I know who you really are. But now is not the time to ask such questions. You have done your part. Now you can leave the rest to me. Alright, dudes. Surf's up. You heard the doc. We've done all we can. Just trust him and wait. Let us wait. It's already close to nightfall. Doc, how is she? Will she be alright? Yes, yeah, she's past the critical period. There are no signs of complications from the poison. The girl has held up well, but only thanks to you dudes. You have done the impossible by finding the antidote. I still cannot believe it. You, with the red bandana. Your search, correct? She would like to speak with you. It'll be a little while longer before she falls asleep from the aesthetic. Will you speak with her, dude? Yes. Let us go speak. Let us do the speaketh. I will be in the room next door, so call me if you need me. And do not forget that even though the poison is gone, she has not completely recovered. Well then, catch you later, dude. Catch you later, homie. Hehe, <laughs> you've become a bloody handsome while I was out of it. Okay, okay. I don't know all the details, but I heard what happened from the dock. Looks like there's been a lot going on while I was asleep. I guess it proves that you can take care of yourself now. Eh. Oi, Serge, you did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? Ha, I would have been alright without an antidote at all. Now I owe you one. 
Thanks. Yep. I can't let my favorite character die. A world different from our own. That is far out, man. That that there really is such a thing. Oh, yeah, and they told him, obviously, what, what we've been doing. And you dudes are from this other world, I presume. Just to make it clear, Doc, the only one that's from the other world is Surge. All the others, including myself, are from this world. We're all with him for different reasons, though. I'm from the same world as Sergi, too. Whoops, my bad. I totally forgot. Come to think of it, the first time we met you was in the Hydra Marshes. Yeah, if Sergi hadn't come and saved me, I would have been in big, big trouble. Another world, so I suppose some things are slightly different. Hydra Marshes are a good example of this, otherwise we would have never found a Hydra in this world. Parallel worlds never to cross each other, yet existing alongside one another. Doc, let's not think about too deeply about this. There isn't any easy way to explain it. Even after going through it myself, I still doubt what I saw. Let's just drop the theories, Doc. The girl's been saved. That's all we need to know, right? Haha, <laughs> that's very like you, Korcha. But he's got a point, Doctor. The kid's life has been saved. I don't think we need to think any further for the time being. Well, I guess you are right. Cannot find an answer to this by thinking about it on my own. It's pretty late. We've been talking for quite some time. Let's call it a night. One good day's rest should be enough to let her go up and hang ten. Surf up, my dudes. And here's the... Oh, I want to punch this girl. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Yes, that little one, Mel. Yep, and she's gonna steal kid stuff. What a nice little girl, am I right? So yeah, we're definitely gonna get that stuff back. Obviously, we're not gonna just leave it in her hands, but... What you gonna do, sir? You've already found a way back to your own world, right? You can just go back home and live a peaceful life, pretending that nothing ever happened. But can you really forget everything you've seen here? And can you live with yourself after you turn your back on us? Now come to me, Surge, the assassin of time. The Chrono Trigger. Named. Just like the first game, Chrono Trigger. Look at that. What are you gonna do, Surge? Uh, I won't go back yet. I see. Then I'll stick around with you a little longer. Just don't slow me down, you hear? Don't know what happened 10 years ago, but it looks like Viper's mob has got something to do with it. Let's go after them. I need to go bash up that Lynx character and get me hands on the frozen flame. Lynx, he stole something precious from me. He's taken away my future. I'll find him, no matter what it takes. Korcha, I heard that you've helped in the search, too. Hmm, it was nothing. Yeah, well, thanks for the nothing, then. <laughs> now then. One point I thought we are doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. All that's left is to take you guys back to Terminal, right? The job ends here. You get a special discount price at 300G for the round trip. Sorry, but I need to make a living too. Nah, uh -huh, you're pretty damn screwed, huh? I shouldn't have thanked you earlier. Hmm. What is it? You looking for something? Hmm, yeah. Well, the elements I had on my grid are gone. Wait, sir, did you remove the elements from me grid? Hmm, if it wasn't you, then who did? The only ones looking over you while we're gone were the doc and the nurse. They should be in the room next door, so let's ask them when we head out. The doc should know something. Hope you're right. Nope, Mel has them. So, we're definitely gonna go hunt down that little girl. Get our stuff back. She's a little, she's a little cheater. Huh? Well, what you doing? Hey, Blondie, if you want your stuff back, I challenge you to catch me. 
Ismail, we... Hey, what is it, dude? If Ismail up to something again. Well, yeah, the same old mischief, but this time she's gone too far. Jeez, that idiot. What is she thinking? I don't get it. Sorry about her, kid. I'll get the stuff back from her later, so go easy on her, alright? Alright, that's no problem. I ain't nothing I'll suffer without anyway. Not to be rude, but I don't have time to play around with brats. I've got to chase after Lynx. Hmm, what is it, Serge? Well, you're not wrong, but Cortez said that he'd get them back later. We don't have time to waste in that. Come on, let's go. No, let's go after Mel. I need those elements back, fam. Alright, if you insist. Okay, then let's go find that brat right away. This ain't gonna... That's the plan. Yeah, I don't... I know she didn't have much, but I want her elements back, dude. I'm not just, like, giving them up. Not to mention, I don't like Mel at all. So I swore she was in that house. Let's quickly check inside the tavern. She's not here. I'm, like, 100% sure. Let's maybe ask her. Does she know? Yes, Mel. She hasn't come by here today. Uh, whoa. Oh, crap. I triggered the same thing again. Okay, well, she's not here. I wonder if we have to trigger that line for Mel to be in her house. I don't think it'd work that she I think she's to the left over here by the zip line. She has to be. Is that her? No? Oh, okay, so she, she's not there. Okay, everybody, so the way to get Mel, um, uh... yeah, but I, yeah, I was right. So you, I did have to actually trigger a sequence to find her. I had to talk to this guy. I don't know why they, in the game, they made it that way, where you have to talk to that guy for some apparent reason, but hey, whatever, <laughs> I guess that's how the game goes. And she'll be at the residential tower. Fun fact. I, while I was googling this to make sure I wasn't hallucinating or the game is bugged, I found out you can actually recruit her. Later in the game, Mel can join your party, which I've never done before, so. Okay, so that kid's got the top. See it? She's not escaping. Wow. <laughs> you idiot. That's what you get for messing with my customers. I'm not going to forgive you just for crying. That should be enough. We've got my stuff back and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to teach the kids some proper manners. You never know when she might do it again. Don't worry about such minor stuff. I say it's already forgiven. Let's just leave it at that. Besides, that little un's got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. Hey, don't you call me a little... I've got a name too, you know? It's Mel. Oh, how feisty. So she's got some real spirit too, but... Weren't you crying just now, or were you just gonna... Or were you, were you just faking it? I tell you, she's gonna be a real mean one when she grows up. What you mean by that? Oops, I guess you're still just a little... Un, don't don't worry, just forget it. Arg, I said, don't you call me a little un. <laughs> Are you sure you want to leave it at that? I just don't get you. Oh well, no use bothering with it now. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Come and find me when you're ready to go. All right, let's get moving then. Alright, let's get uh, Gil back in the party. Let's see what she has to say. Mel won't cause any more mischief, but promise me to play with me again. So yeah, um, we will play with her again later in the game once we can add her to our party. For now, let us depart. Uh, we should probably just use a zip line since it's quick. We gotta waste money to do it, but you know what? Might as well support local business, am I right? These kids need some money, wanna buy some elements, you know what I mean? 
No, I want to become the wind. No. Yes, let me become the wind. Now we shall become the wind. We. Alright, now we are back at the docks. Easy peasy. Oh, let's talk to Korcha. Uh, yep, let's go back to Termina. Korcha left the party. Thank God. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna say it over and over again. I'm just not a fan of Korcha's design. Like, like, um... I don't know, maybe I'm not just... Maybe I'm not the biggest fan of skinny, almost nude little kid. I don't know, that, that's just my opinion. I mean, I guess he's not a little kid, but he looks like it, cause, considering his size. So, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just not into that, but... I'd rather have Surge, Kid, and Gil. Or any other member in this entire game. Actually, there's only about two or three characters that I actually don't like in this entire game. Um. Uh, wait, let's talk to Korcha again. What, so what does he say if we come back? You're on your own from here. Okay, so we can't get him back. Um, basically, I don't like him. And if you guys see to the left, there was that big ship of a singer called Nikki. With all the little fangirls. Yeah, you can eventually recruit Nikki, and he's another one of those characters that I just, I just I don't like their design. It just seems wonky to me. And you might be wondering where am I going? Well, I'm gonna go check on something. If we go in this hut, there should be a guy that we can recruit. Yes, there is. That guy in the green and red. That guy. Oh, blessed child flow and they rest in peace. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read that. Come on, please say your last farewells. Why? Why did you blah, blah, blah? Some random person died. The boat shall now be cut adrift. Your son's spirit shall ascend to the heavens with your own, with your warm blessings. Everything that has form must eventually fade away although that may be nature's way i feel my heart being torn apart at many times of this why must we face death and who is the one that decides when we die i have not yet seen the light amigo so yeah this guy looks like ray mysterio <laughs> and he like talks to the dead and stuff dear passing stranger if you have a moment to spare please give this wandering soul a small prayer to guide him on his path now i'm good fam i'm gucci Alright, let's... I don't really care about that. Oh, hello, controller? Alright, well, I guess let's go talk to him real quick. Sob, sob. Okay, they, they have no... They have nothing to say to us, so that's fine. But I'm pretty sure we can recruit him. Hmm. Are you, are you really a human who does not exist in this world? You're now drifting between the boundaries of life and death. You are too young to be taken in the arms of the darkness, although it is my best interest to aid you. A duty to watch over the spirits here. It's alright, Greco. I'll be here to keep things in order. Romana, you are still too young to take on such a test. Spirits are always looking for a chance to draw the living into the darkness. When my brother Getz was able to save you from being drawn into the darkness, he gave his life. I am the sister of Getz. A small thing now and then won't get me down. This time, you must save this one from... The darkness. I think Getz desires that also. You might be right. I believe that uh, to just to live in the hiding for the rest of my life. I realize that I'm the only. I was only trying to escape from my responsibilities. May I assist you in escaping the darkness, amigo? Yes. Okay. So we got Greco. He is another party member. I'll add him. I won't use him, but I'll add him. Please call me whenever you wish from help amigo. So, we recruited him, so now we have him for the rest of the game. Uh, I will not use him, but hey, uh, if we're gonna play the game, might as well try to collect as many members as we can. So yeah, let's keep going now. 
and I'm not exactly 100% sure where we're going next. But maybe this cutscene will help us? The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There has been much word that the major power of the East Poor is up to something suspicious. They might seem to have heard the rumors of the frozen flame in El Nido and are coming to investigate. My, then that means the poor army might invade this town anytime. I wonder if we will be alright. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. The fort, the fort is far from town, so it is not used normally, but it has good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Turtle, but she felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left, so... Oh, sir, did you hear that? When I was snoozing away in Goldov, Lynx and his mob hightailed it out of the manor. The fort's supposedly a ruin built by the extinct Dragonians. I heard that they've been all kinds of mystic rituals there. It said that the Dragon Tear was needed for the rituals. Bloody bastards, what are we? What are they up to now? Serge, this is no longer a problem. If we don't stop these buggers now, they're going to cause some major hell around here. Fort Dragonia is on top of Mount Pyre, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get by land, so the question is, how are we going to get a boat? Blonde braids. A blonde red blouse. That sounds like the description of that thief from the Radical Dreamers. And that red bandana, just like the ghost Karsh was describing. So what, you want to take us on or something? Sorry, Dar sorry, sorry, Dory, but we're in a bit of a rush to the Fort Dragoni of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my sword if it needs be. Oh, Glenn, stop that. Your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstances. Leave my brother out of this. Oi, don't get your knickers in a knot. I don't care if you draw your sword or not, but I ain't, I ain't stopping for you. See ya. Alright, forgive me for my rash behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I should follow my own way to find the truth. If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat, first head north, and then east. You should find a small island there. A retired dragoon lives there. Find him and ask for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about the fort. You know, you never want to expect that there. All we need to do now is find a boat. Let's, let's get a move on. Now, where would we find a boat at? I wonder if Corcho would give us his or rent it out. Um, I actually like, I actually don't know. So let's, let's talk to him. You guys need to cross the sea. Then I might just might think about lending you my boat with two conditions. How with that clunky boat of yours? I don't think we're gonna survive a round trip. But I guess there ain't. It ain't the time to be picky. So Corcho, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the dragon tear, give it to me. The other condition is, once all this ruckus is over, um, I want you, um, what was that? Stop mumbling and speak up, I can't hear you. Uh, I want you to be my wife. Ooh, what did you just say? I said, I want you to be my wife. Oi, Korcha, don't mess with me, I'm gonna kick your arse so hard to kiss the moves. I'm not joking, to tell you the truth, I, uh, that it, it was love at first sight. Hmm, oi. You know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't ya? Don't worry, I don't care about your past, and I don't want you I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until this fuss is over, so please. Yeah, just just tell him. <laughs> okay. This is none of your business. It's my own problem. <laughs> I okay, I understand, but this ain't something I can agree with too on a whim. I'll consider it until I settle the score with links that is. That's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. Alright, that's, that's all I need for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on an island to the east. Hey, you be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not just your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. Do you want me to come with you? Sure, come along. Why not? But I'm not going to put him in the party. I'll add another character, but I will not add him to the party. Okay, then I'll be heading home now. Remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it. So, oh, this is actually kind of funny. So this dude uses a boat. 
And then this dude just shut up, just like is gonna swim to Termina. I mean, why do you even have a? Okay, well I guess he's using a boat for his company, but I don't know. It just seems like a little. Okay, let's go. So now we got a boat. Look at that. So our next objective. Oh, don't tell me it'll force me to go there. Oh no 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 it won't. Okay. See, like I said earlier in the thing. At some point, we'll get a free roaming boat. So now we got a free roaming boat. And this is going to be the end of the episode. But before we go, I'm going to show you guys some of the things that we will be doing. So here is the water dragon isle for the water dragon. A guy has navel. This is going to be the grass dragon. Here's the air dragon. Here's Goldove. That's how we get out of El Nido, but we'll never be able to get out of there. Uh, this is where the earth dragon will be. This is where this is where we're supposed to be going. This is the old man's place. This is the Isle of the Damned. We'll have some missions there. Uh, pull back for now. Um, there is going to be a quest in that fog. Over here is a Sea of Eden. Basic. That's like going to be the most biggest plot-based place in the game. This is Marble, an islands with a bunch of demigods or not demigods, demi humans. Uh, I forgot what this place is, and then uh, the place that we're supposed to be going to, where Link's in them is, in that little thing in the middle of that kind of like volcano thing, past the fog, if you see that little entrance. And then over here, we got Arnie Village, blah, blah, blah. So, that's kind of like the world, but you also gotta remember, there's two worlds, so basically, in two worlds, all of this. So, just imagine this map, double the size, that's about the world in this game. Uh... But guys, what I'm going to be doing now, because I've got my three main characters, because I think Kid and Surge are what I'm going to be using for the entire game, and then the third is going to switch. But the next part of the game, I think, is going to be fairly hard. So what I'm going to be doing between this episode and next is I'm going to go around and level my characters. So next episode, we'll head into that fog, and we'll do some things. But for now, I'm going to focus on leveling. But, you know what, the next episode is going to be here very, very shortly. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.